so you're self-published did it all you're mm -hmm. all by yourself which is great um wanna so hilariously i the re way i found you was just the random uh algorithm on twitter where i saw your picture where you gave the book to brandon sanderson and i was like i don't hear that story so yeah that's part of why i reached out but uh before we get to that why don't you tell us um why you decided to self-publish what that journey was kind of like for you um how that all kind of worked for you yeah i i think a lot of authors when they first I guess when they're just writers, before they even consider themselves authors, when people want to write a story and get it out to people, they realize that you need to get it published. Um, and, you know, when people, when I tell them I published a book, they typically think, you know, it's through some company, it's traditionally published. Um, and I think the fantasy world or just the literature world in general is kind of overcoming the stigma that was in years past, you know, if your book wasn't good enough to get published, you had to do it on your own and we're moving past that, which is great um, because I initially reached out um, when I, so I finished my first um, draft of my book and was going in, finishing the second draft and Keon Arladon wrote uh, the 11th cycle. And this was when I was trying to put myself more on social media to kind of get myself ready for getting some attention. And uh, I reached out to him and I'm just like, hey, I, I see that you're making big waves, attracting a lot of people. And much to him, he, he had a really good pitch for his book. And so I was just like, hey, could you offer like any advice to someone trying to get in the market? And awesome guy. He was kind enough to just sit down and do a video call with me for a couple hours um, where he just talked about what he did. And initially he started off, he's like, okay, you're going traditional publishing or... Uh, are you doing self-publish? And he said, I, you know, I said, traditional, I know it's a difficult process, but I'm fine just going through all that. And then he's like, okay, I'll, you know, you can do that by all means, do it if you want, but I'm going to tell you why I went self-published, which at that time I didn't know he was a self-published author. Um, I still had the idea that self-published books weren't as fantastic as, you know, all the other ones, but there are some amazing self-published books. I mean, Right there, you got Zach Argyle's Threadlight Trilogy, which is an amazing leather-bound, best of my collection, and it is self-published. So he talked me through this, um, kind of let me know the stages about doing it, and by the end of that call, I was set on it. Um, some of the big things were, uh, you can go really deep into it, uh, talking about you know copyright freedom, uh, what the company has control over you. Plain and simple for me, I didn't even try to query. I could have. Um, I mean, I am considering it for a future book that isn't in this series, just for the fun of it. But it's, I'm not putting a lot of weight on it. Um, a lot of the big major thing was I wrote a book and I wanted to get it out there. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of authors that are amazing, talented, and just don't have the luck to get what a company wants, what they want to sell, and my book is very unique and it's not something that I was sure someone would pick up and I wanted it out there. And so I went and decided to publish it on my own. And I was very, very fortunate. I recognize that I do have a bit of an advantage because I, it, like I said, today it's more, um, more of a gray area. Do self publish or go traditional? One thing that is difficult with self publishing is you have to pay for your editing and you have to pay for your cover art. Um, my wife is a professional illustrator, so she did my cover, and so that wasn't something I had to worry about. So that's basically what I wanted. I just kept going through the system. I got a professional editor, went through it, and um, of course I have it on you know, Amazon, I have it in the other store systems, but I did initial launch through Kickstarter, and it went really great. So yeah, I'm an indie guy now. Yeah, that's awesome.